case, the execution of, of the, you know, the things that you have to execute in when you are building a, a basically a startup. This is a like startup community, right? Um, so the board hasn't been very, very active in general. And um, I think this is a, an example of um, very uh, early decentralization. Um, and well, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Clement, do you want to add something about uh, about this? And then maybe we can take questions from from the audience. Um, yeah. Yeah, the thing is that we not really made a ball. Like it, it was a MSIP made by who did this one? Uh, like made by someone uh, from the community. Uh, sometime like it was uh, like initially it, it seems to be more important than it is now and you got another HIP uh, did it pass? yeah of making basic uh, like of kind of like only putting basic power to the board so now like the board it just it just like helping in uh, in the in the votes uh, or, or small administrative task. So I'm not even sure it's clear what the board is doing. Yeah, and also I think that um, well, the, I think the vision from the from the early days uh, is to you know uh, the, the board should be dissolved at some point, right? Uh, the, 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 this should be intended to be a decentralized organization, and uh, so the board in the end is just to help you know um, execute things in the early days, and then well follow the same path that uh, organizations that want to decentralize follow, and it's like uh, putting all of the governance in the in the hands of of the community, right? Um, I can only imagine you know the board having some activity in case uh, in the early days uh, some uh, crazy vote happens in the community which mandates to do something that is illegal and that could put you know people who were involved in the project well at risk because this unfortunately is in every not everything is centralized at this moment you know there are some centralized elements in the front end and so there is legal liabilities for the people who participated in building the project but over time i i, I imagine that um uh, the board would be dissolved. I, as I was reading the proposals that, that were made um, in the well in the governance in the forum, and people were discussing like, um, okay, well, in five years we should not be uh, the board members should not be allowed to to like uh, be reelected. I really don't imagine the board <laughs> existing in five years. And if the board to exist in five years, I think it would be like a failure of well of the governance to, to have worked properly right so like the board was initially made as a management board uh, but that has been changed with uh, ahp 21 and now it just like to interpret potential uh, like uh, a way, like to help into the interpretation of hip when they are not clear so it can all like switch from a management board to just uh, a purely administrative uh, work and more like of a constitutional council. Yeah, I think that's that's a uh, oh su su supreme court of people. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> are, uh, that's, that's, that's very French. Right? In the US. <laughs> that's very French. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess um, that's that's the um, the goal that the board can you know fulfill in the in the, in the short term. But it's, it's it's not meant to be the management team. You know, management team. That's why. Uh, we proposed uh, um, having an election of, of uh, the, the, the project manager, um, so that it should uh, be in charge of all the execution of, uh, of well, the strategy. Um, so yeah, that's that's what the board is, I think. Um, so yeah. Even for the for the uh, for the hiring, uh, the board has nothing specific to do with the hiring. Uh, like the way the HIP were made is that like any anyone who work on pro humanity can give their advice on whether a candidate is suited or not, but it, it doesn't it doesn't restrict that to the board, uh, nor does it grant the right to like not not nor does it uh, ask everyone in the board to to give an opinion. Like if you look at the HIP, it's people who contributed to the project, and like for example, like uh, like on the board, you got like three out of the four board members who contributed in the project, 
so it tend to have some overlap, but it's not it's not uh, exactly uh, born member should give some opinion about candidates. It was people working on the project should be giving opinion about candidates. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So this is so the thing that uh, I think we should really try. Like, <laughs> I think there are two things uh, which which can happen in terms of uh, of the project. So there are stuff which where you need a, a consensus. Like for example, if you want to spend some fund which belongs to the DAO, uh, if you want to change the rules of, of registration of of humanity, if you want to change the parameters, all of those they need uh, a consensus and they can be done via HIPs and the HIPs uh, are executed automatically via the governor. And it's not, uh, there is no multi sig there is no, no centralized parties uh, which execute those, uh, that's completely decentralized and you don't need any board to, to do that. Uh, then there is like people who are working on some stuff which are helping uh, proof of humanity. Uh, so this can include, uh, for example, like running a front end uh, making some communication uh, on Twitter or uh, other communications channel, organizing some events. Uh, and on that, uh, well, you don't need the approval to do that. Um, it's uh, like more like a, a do democracy, like do something. And then if what you do, uh, people like it, well, they will, they will join it. Um, so this team really little place for a board to be impactful. Because uh, either it's something which need to uh, that we need to do at the project level, at the pro humanity level, like funds, uh, parameter, and stuff like that. Then you need an HIP, or it's like individual initiatives, uh, which you don't need any any official power to do so. Uh, like anyone can build on pro humanity, anyone can make front end of pro humanity. Everyone can make some uh, some groups to speak about pure humanity, so you don't need a board for that. So yeah, like now you, you like it's initially it started as a management board, and I think it was very bad uh, as it was giving some power to people who, at well, first, did not ask for it, uh, and, and second, that they feel to uh, be obliged to to then uh, use this power to uh well to push what they, they believe that uh their duty were uh, their duty were uh now it has been clarified and uh it's basically as if there is no board which have any power except just uh like tie breaking when there is a, a, a divergence of interpretation on what an hrp means maybe we should even just remove the board <laughs> Uh, anyone else uh, has some uh, questions or opinions or remarks? Oh, yes, I think I have one. For Justin, since there's an ongoing vote for him, so he's the only board member that's actually uh, underwent the election, correct? So will he, he will his terms be longer than the current board, and will it be automatically? Will he be part of the board automatically once the voting ends? I'm pertaining to the snapshot electing um, uh, electing um, sorry, yeah. governance here. Um, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm sure. They, um, yes, like there was this vote to create this this fifth uh, part, uh, member of the board. Um, Justin, I think, is the only candidate. I don't know what the process says if there should be an election or if he wins by default because there's no other candidate. Um, I think Justin is great. I got to meet him um, in um, at Paris at the ATHCC. He's awesome. He's really aligned with the project he has bought a lot of ubi so he's really <laughs> he has skin in the game um so yeah i mean he's welcome um 
but uh, as I said before, I think that um, um, in the future the, the 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 goal will be like more to shrink the board rather than to expand it, right? Um, because that's what we all want, right? Decentralization. But, but yeah, like welcome Justin for now. Thank you, thank you. Right, that, that's that's the ideal way to maybe not have few people uh, manage the DAO. Yeah, I, I think I think that for for now the main goals that True Humanity has uh, ahead is that can try to gain more traction, try to gain more um, integrations, and try to reach more people. Um, so this is what what in the end will matter. Like. Uh, um because otherwise it's if, 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 if it's not going to grow um so it will, it will not matter who, what the board is, even is right so because it's going to be nothing um so yeah that's that, that's what i think and i, I imagine you know proof of humanity in, in in some years you know having like millions of users and being fully decentralized as, as was the intention in the first place yeah, yeah, and I think we should really kind of like be careful about uh, the politicization uh, of the project. Like, you know, like it, it's how it starts. You start by making some elections, uh, and uh, then you have different candidates which end up uh, uh, like not agreeing on some elements, and then you spend all your time, all your community time, into some, I would say, political actions. Uh, which are within the pro humanity, which is quite bad. Like if you want to do some political action outside, it's quite interesting as it can advance the project. But now if you spend all your energy into getting control of some part of pro humanity, they are making some HIP to giving you control. Uh, and uh, we, 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 we've seen that, uh, we, we've seen this trend, uh, which uh, well, fortunately seems to have reversed recently. Uh, where we don't see people trying to, to get control uh, of elements and just push the cover into giving them con more control to themselves. Um, that's that's going to be uh, a disadvantage for, for DAO if you, you spend all your time like in internet, internal struggle instead of uh, external struggle about getting traction, getting the stuff done. Uh, and it's way easier to get the stuff done if there is low governance and if it's like more of a democracy, like do something. If people don't like it, well, to, they don't like it, they don't need to participate. If they do like it, great. Like, for example, uh, we organized some uh, some event at uh, HACC and we did not ask uh, uh, anyone uh, if we could organize an, uh, an event for pro humanity. Uh, well, actually, we, when we made pro humanity uh, as part of the Kraus uh, team, we, we did not ask for anyone the permission to do that. So, one person, one vote is quite interesting because it can allow uh, democratic votes, but we should not uh, fall into the trap of thinking, oh, well, now we have democratic vote. And so we're going to replicate the institution of the old world uh, and making people in charge who are going to be elected and we're going to get some power. Uh, and then they're going to decide uh, everything which is going to happen. And uh, we saw that happening a bit with the moderator uh, HAPs, which uh, uh, which passed, obviously, it's not the, the worst one, uh, like uh, they significantly uh, modified it uh, through my competing HIP, so it's not like kind of like a consensus version. Uh, but this kind of uh, action, I think, was going into the wrong direction uh, of uh, making pro humanity a highly political and highly uh, uh, governed system, uh, where I think we should aim at uh, decentralization of initiatives and uh, only need to use uh, voting for stuff uh, where uh, you need to have a decision, a, a DAO wide consensus. Well, any other question, guys? Or that's it for today.
Anyone else who would like to ask questions? Maybe some gray areas that you thought management or the board are doing that's not clear to you? Because I'll, I'll by the way comment in Federico because we have community members who are curious about how grants are allocated to the Dow Treasury. So is it via Clara's governor? Is it multi sig? Um, how, how how could you explain it in simple terms? Oh, it's the, it's the governor. So the governor is executing the HIPs. Um, so HIPs have to be translated into code for execution. Uh, and I will give you the link in the chat. So you have the governor, and so you have the provincial governor, and you can create a new list uh, of uh, of transactions. Uh, which are, are to be to have to reflect what has been voted uh, by, by the DAO. And see, thank you so much. It's not really the, the board who handles all the, um, the who handles the treasury directly. It's through through the uh, Claros governor. Is that correct? It's a governor, but it only leads to Claro's dispute if there is an issue. So it's not uh, voted by Claro's token holder. It's uh, voted by uh, any mechanism that people want. In this case, it's one person who vote with delegation uh, with Pro of Humanity. And uh, that's going to execute the decision which were made on Snapshot. I see. Thanks a lot. That explains it. Anyone, anyone else who would like to maybe clarify some things? For me, just the final message, you know, now we have like 8,300 profiles in Proof of Humanity. I think that the, the, the I think IDINA has something like that or maybe less. So we are in the like a term moment where we, well, maybe you already are or can become the, the largest, you know, decentralized identity uh, online system. And, and, um, and I, but we also can see how this has been slowing down, right? In part because of uh, maybe some intrinsic, you know, limitations of, of, of these projects. Um, uh, but also because of, you know, um, community struggle that was necessary. Like what we want to do is to grow this to millions um because that's what in the end it, all of all the rest of the things won't, won't really matter if, if if this like stays stagnated like like this right so yeah like we the, the focus for me in the coming you know time is um try to grow this uh, this community to as much as possible and clement said it it's a the duocracy you know don't ask for permission Ask for forgiveness <laughs> and um, just do it. You know, if you want to build um, an app that requires proof of humanity, um, do it. Uh, we at Claros have an incubator now, and so if you feel like uh, uh, you might need support and you want uh, to, to to do this for like uh, for a living, for a job, and for a company, um, like uh, you can apply and we will review your application and if we see this. It's aligned with the goals of the project and uh, it has good odds of succeeding then we, we will support you so i think we are on the stage of of building rather than uh, than you know uh, arguing right we will have time to argue when this is a very big community for now we need to build it Well, I guess if there are no more questions, um, we can call it today. Any, anything else from you, Clement, to, to add? Nothing else for me. Well, I guess we uh, see you on Telegram, guys. All right, thank you. I, I guess Lazarus would like to speak. No, no, no. I was just saying hello. That was all. <laughs>
Okay, All we'll right, see you on Telegram. <laughs> yeah, Bye. thank you so much, Clement and Federico, for giving us this time. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Good day. Bye.